As things stand, Scotland faces the prospect of being taken out of the EU against our will. I regard that as democratically unacceptable. So there is no doubt that yesterday's result represents a significant and a material change of the circumstances in which Scotland voted against independence in 2014. Let's now talk about autumn 2018 as a likely date. Within that window, uh, I guess, of when the, the sort of outline of a UK deal uh, becomes uh, clear and the UK exiting the EU, uh, I think would be the common sense time for uh, Scotland to have that choice if that is the road That is why I believe so strongly that at the end of the Brexit process, not now, but when the terms of the deal are known, Scotland must have a choice about our future. A choice between following the UK down the Brexit path or becoming an independent country. I can confirm that the Scottish Government will act to ensure that the option of giving people a choice on independence later in this term of Parliament is progressed. It also reaffirms the Scottish Government's commitment to an independence referendum. Our democratic mandate to allow people to decide the country's future is beyond question. And at this juncture in history, it is essential that we consider the kind of country we want to be and how best to and secure it. In 2017, it. you said autumn 2018 was the common sense time for another referendum. In autumn 18, you said you'd set out your plans for an independence referendum in the not too distant future. In autumn 2019, you said the referendum must happen next year. In autumn 2020, you said you wouldn't rule out a vote in 2021. And in 2021, you said you'd start pushing for a referendum in spring 2022. When is going to be the right time? 